before I get into this video, I already know that a lot of you aren't going to like me anymore. And that's not something I can change. I can't control your newfound perception of me. I can't control your newfound reception of me and my mom's relationship. The only thing I can do is tell you the truth and be honest. I never planned to bring this. I never knew that. I don't even know what words to put together. I never expected to have to make a decision like this, especially because of how close we are. But. You can only do what can be done. You can't do the impossible. And the impossible would be. A part of me, the reason why it's so hard for me to make this video is because I already know that since you are in my shoes, since you don't live here with me, you would never understand where I'm coming from or why I choose the words that I choose to say. But honestly, I can't worry about that right now. I have bigger fish to fry. I have other things to worry about. So instead of harping on it and worrying about it, I'm just going to cut the comments off of this video. I'm so sorry. I know that you probably will have a whole lot to say after this is uploaded but i just can't i care about you guys as my supporters as our supporters and i just can't deal with the idea that i've disappointed you or i don't know anyway um there's an issue and because of a recent series of events i'm gonna have well i've had to make a decision this decision will affect me greatly. It will affect my mom. Maybe it won't affect her that much. But it will definitely affect me. Because I'm straying from something I've always knew my whole life. And I'm venturing to find something that I'm not familiar with. I'm venturing for something. I don't even know what I'm venturing for. Um, I hesitated with coming forward with, with this i honestly wanted to wait until vlogmas was over there was a question at one point in time were we even going to do vlogmas for this specific issue at hand but we thought you know you know let's just go ahead and do it this is our first vlogmas go ahead and make our own history and do vlogmas but it's just not working out that way it's not it's just not and instead of hiding it and masking it i would rather just go ahead and be 100 and be transparent because if i don't you're just gonna wonder like where i am basically um I'm sorry. I've come to a very hard and rough decision and I don't know. I really don't know what the next day will bring. I'm just playing it by ear and I haven't told my mom yet. I haven't fully told her. She kind of has an idea. I believe that this decision would come, but I don't think she I don't think she knew it would come as soon. Because, of course, you know, it's questionable if we were going to do Vlogmas. But I don't think. I don't know. Because you know how you always feel that you have hope that, you know, you'll get through something. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> anyway. So. 
I've been packing. I've been packing up all my stuff because I am moving. I am moving. Not only am I moving out of the house with my mom, but I'm actually moving to a new state. I haven't I'm not gonna disclose the state yet because I want to fully I don't I don't know, I just want to get there first. I want to feel everything first. I want to get my feet wet first. Um it's going to be a sh strenuous process on me because the I'm like I said before I'm moving away from something that I've known my whole life. Um not only am I moving away from my mom which I've been with my whole life. I'm moving away from my city which is the only thing that I've known my whole life. Like this is where I grew up. This is where <sighs> This is the air I breathe every single day and I'm moving away from that. I'm moving to somewhere that I'm not familiar with. I've probably visited there two or three times in my whole life and I'm moving there like that's where I'm going to live now. I don't know. That's scary for me. It may not be scary to you. Maybe you didn't grow up like me or you didn't. I don't know. It's difficult for me because of how close me and my mom are since it's always just been me and her but because we just can't get it right I mean I will let me just say I can't get it right we're gonna put I'm just gonna take the blame for it I'm not gonna say that it's her and please don't I can't tell you what to do because you're gonna say whatever you want to say but I would just rather that you examine yourself and remember when you were my age it because I know it's gonna be mostly older people that have you know, lectures to give and things to say. You don't always know what to do. You don't always make the best decisions. You make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone is human. No one is perfect. There is no one watching this video right now who has never made a mistake. Or who has never made a mistake. Or made a decision that you thought was good and then later on it turned bad. Like, there's literally no one in the world, in the whole world, who's always, always, always made good decisions. Honestly, I don't feel like this is a good decision. I don't. And I'm, I'm mature enough to say that. I don't feel like this is a good decision. This is not something that I want to do. I feel that I will grow to love it and like it. But I don't want to do this. I'm forced to do this. I'm being forced out. And I don't want this video to be like where... You know, you're giving me, don't bash either one of us. Don't bash her, don't bash me. Just, if you truly love and support us, just do what you've always done, which is support us. Because it's not going to be easy. It's very much going to be difficult. But, I'm not prepared for it, but I have to be prepared for it. It's sink or swim. I either swim or I sink. And I'm going to swim. <sighs> I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic and I'm trying to lighten my mood because it's really like the day matches the mood. Like it's so gloomy and sad outside and that's just, that's exactly how it feels inside of here. So right now it is 2.30 and I'm about to go and finalize some paperwork. I'm also going to go to my local U-Haul store and well not U-Haul store like the U-Haul dealership or whatever and I'm gonna see um about getting a U-Haul I'm kind of still debating on if I'm gonna drive and just get my car delivered when my car is delivered I'll probably just do one at a time honestly but nevertheless I'm kind of getting off task I know that a lot of you are going to have questions about like how will we upload now how will we continue our channel together I don't know we have some videos saved up just you know to post for a rainy day and the rainy day is here like I don't know
I don't want to waste your time. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you find it in your hearts to forgive me for this decision that I'm making. But honestly, I feel like in life, you cannot stress about situations that you can't truly, fully control. It'll all work out. That's the only thing that I can say, that it will all work out. And that's just how it's going to be. I've never driven and vlogged before, but it's really starting to get, well, the rain is starting to pick up. It's getting heavier. It was just a gloomy, rainy day, but now it's like actively raining. But I don't know. I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm nervous. But. I feel like I have a lot of support and I feel like I can get through this. There's nothing that I cannot get through and I have to get that through my head. Whatever storms or journeys you're going through in life, just remember that you can get through it. Don't sit around and mope and be sad about it. Of course, you can have your moments where you express your emotions and because it's not healthy to keep in bad emotions. It's not healthy to keep anything in. You need to release it somehow or some way or at some point in time but you know right now I just can't afford to sit around and be sad about it and not do anything so yeah I'll get back to you guys once I get to the U-Haul place because I don't want to get too comfortable vlogging and driving but So, I literally just pulled up to the U-Haul place. It's so ironic to me that it would decide to rain today. Because it's just dampening my mood even more. But, I already called them and I told them that I needed about two. Well, I asked them their different sizes. And I'm going to go in now and pick which U-Haul I'm going to get and see if I could get a driver as well. I'm trying to decide low key if I want to get one of those trailers, like one of the trailer U-Hauls, or if I just want to go ahead and get the truck and then just have a driver to come with me. I haven't released where I'm moving to yet because I just want to get there first. Once I get there, then I'll tell, you know, what city and state I'm moving to, but I don't know, this is just a really hard process process for me it's even harder because I'm doing this by myself and I'm so young but I mean yeah I'm just getting my phone my keys turn my car off I'm gonna go inside Hopefully I don't get rained on. I wonder if they're gonna let me record in here. If they don't I'll just have to tell you guys what happened and what decision I made and which U-Haul I'm getting and everything, but yeah. So one of the workers stopped me as I was walking in and they said that they didn't allow video recording so I had to stop the recording. But I went ahead and I paid for my U-Haul. I'm going to have someone to come and pick it up and take it to the house for me. And then when it's time for me to drive to where I'm moving to, um, it's raining really bad. When it's time for me to drive to where I'm going, I'm just going to hire some movers to help me. Um, but yeah, this is the U-Haul. 
I was gonna get a, get out and circle it and let you guys see, but it started raining really hard and I don't think I have my, it started raining really hard and I don't think I have my umbrella. But right now, this is really stressful because I can't sit and mope and wallow. I have to get going. I have to do what needs to be done. I can't just sit around and be sad about it. I can't just sit around and not handle my business just because, oh, I'm too young. No, I have to handle what's meant to be handled and I just want I just want positivity from you guys. I just want to feel positive energy and positive vibes from you guys so you can help me keep going for you.